Hi, Paul Henry, Creative Director, Tasting Australia. Oh, well, we, we had this idea that it'd be kind of fun to do some walking tours around Adelaide, sharing with consumers who could buy a ticket the, the places that we know, because we're lucky enough to live here, where there's a really good barman or a really good barista or a really good market stall with a particular kind of brand of cheese or make of fruit or whatever it may be. So I had this idea and I was working with Simon Bryant, um, my co-creative director at uh, Tasting Australia, and I said, do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to replicate really a meal based around all of my favorite foods. And uh, so we sat down and it really started just as a list of ingredients and Simon, being a cook and a chef, said, oh, well, here's what we can do with this and here's what we can do with that. We ended up with maybe 10 ingredients and five courses. And we started today with what I think are some of the best clams in the world. And we asked um, Saskia Beer, who's Maggie Beer's daughter, to make a, a pork sausage to go with that. So we had effectively sort of clams and chorizo to start with, which was cooked in a, in a, in a dry sherry. Uh, and then we had some beets. I love beetroots. I love the way that at this time of year they can be both sweet and earthy. So we had some shaved beetroots and we had some roasted beetroots, um, fresh parsley, grated lemon zest, fantastic olive oil from Naringa, and then a fresh uh, cow's goat's curd, almost like yogurt turning into cheese, just on that cusp. That was a really beautiful, fresh dish full of, as I said before, earthiness and sweet flavors. And then I said, I've got this thing for um, lentils and celery hearts. And I think cooked together, they're beautiful. They're kind of, once again, it's that interplay of something that's earthy, really savory, which is obviously the lentils. And then the sweet, almost licorice fennel seed kind of uh, uh, taste of celery. So we had some braised celery hearts and some, um, some braised lentils. And that was um, beautiful. And then living in South Australia, we're so blessed with... Um, the great livestock that we have. And if I have a favorite meat, um, it would have to be lamb. And I love really slow cooked lamb. I love the shoulder, which is not, uh, maybe not the most, um, the most precious joint. You need to cook it long and slow because it's quite fatty. But if you cook it long, what happens is you get this beautiful ability of the meat to fall from the bone. You can almost just kind of, what I say, carve it with a spoon. So we had Hutton Vale um, shoulders of lamb, and that was beautiful using you know the lentils and the celery hearts that we had before and we're just about to tuck into now one of um, Chris Lloyd's amazing cheeses um, from Woodside it's actually a cow's milk cheese which has been wrapped in vine leaves and aged and matured so a hard cheese to finish with and then being a wine guy <laughs> it was a shameless excuse to play around with the wonderful um, tastes flavors and textures that come from McLaren Vale, the Adelaide Hills, Barossa Valley. I have to confess, I did serve, it, serve a champagne because I happen to, I'm a bit old school in that regard. I think that if, you, if you're really going to drink the finest sparkling wine in the world, you need to go to northern France. So we had 2008 vintage Blanc de Blanc uh, champagne. And then we jumped into wines from the Barossa, from McLaren Vale. And I'm just about to open now one of Steve Pannell's Syrahs. Uh, from the Adelaide Hills, so a slightly new world, new kind of style take on uh, on what Shiraz can be, make it in a slightly lighter style with a bit of um, whole bunch press in there too. So really, um, I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in Adelaide, if not the luckiest guy in the world. I've got uh, a brilliant friend and chef in terms of uh, Simon Bryant, who literally just said, okay, what are your favorite ingredients? Let's build a menu, let's build a work experience out of this. And today we've been lucky enough to host 15 people who have come, some from around the world. We've got friends with us today from Asia, people that have come down from Canberra, interstate from Sydney and Melbourne. And it's just an excuse to show off. And I'm loving it. Did you like this post? Well, there's three more ways to get Nude Leaves. Visit nudeleaves.com or go to Facebook, facebook.com slash nudeleaves. Or YouTube, youtube.com slash nudeleavesfoodblog.